folks, Scott Sager with you here. Uh, this is a kind of a twist on chamber chat that we do for you here uh, every month. We couldn't get together at uh, WROI, so we brought Amy into our studio. And uh, Amy, it's a pleasure. Amy Rowe, the director of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Hey, Scott. Thanks for having us. Uh, it's always a pleasure, yeah. Amy. So we had a very busy time. It's a lot of planning, mm -hmm. but there's a lot going on behind the scenes right now at the Chamber. Tell us about some of the things that are happening. Yeah. I, you know, honestly, I was writing the newsletter, and I can't believe we are almost at the end of the first quarter. <laughs> I, I think to my, I was writing that newsletter, and I thought, where in the world did the no first kidding. three months of the... No kidding. Of the year go so we were all hibernating inside <laughs> we came out and looked it's outside. like oh wow there is a spring out it here <laughs> starting to warm up a little. yeah so we've got a lot of really neat things we uh do our membership drive mm -hmm. every year yes. starting in january and uh basically in march okay. so new sponsors great uh, new people coming new on memberships board. Uh, that always switches up depending upon the need of folks for the chamber membership sure um it's a tool they can purchase it if they so desire or <laughs> not so we allow them the um, decision to make that purchase, okay. and uh, we're grateful for our partners and yeah. for the folks who uh, partner with us to use the tool. So that was neat. A lot of work. I always feel so sorry for Beth because she <laughs> a lot of that, it, you know, lays on her shoulders. Right. This is your assistant, Beth Miller? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and she does an excellent job to um, educate the new members and yeah. sponsors on the benefits and get them connected. So yeah. I'm appreciative yeah. for all her hard work. So Keep up the good work there, Beth. Yeah. She needs that because <laughs> I think she's about ready to pull her hair out. She said, am I going to survive another three months? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but she does an excellent job. And excellent. then our legislative breakfast series. Yes. Oh. Good turnouts for those. Good turnouts. Yeah. I am always so blessed because our legislators speak praise mm. all the time about the folks who come out and connect to that. Great. Uh, we just do a good job of uh, providing a platform for folks to connect mm -hmm. to the political process. Mm -hmm. I think it's essential. We're a democracy. Absolutely. So we should be able to speak to those guys. And um, our state legislators do an excellent job of allowing folks to ask questions, mm -hmm. um, to come out, and to be present. Mm -hmm. So, um, And this year we did a federal update. We gave the county a break for a second. Great. Um, did that had mixed reviews but um it was one of those you've got to try new things sure we had folks who wanted to have a federal update we mm -hmm. had requests for that and we mm -hmm. had opportunity for providing that so we did that this year um, okay talk to me about a federal update what do you yeah does that mean you brought in federal le mm -hmm. uh, legislators yeah so generally we had uh changed up the uh platform a bit it used to be three legislative breakfasts with just the state guys yes but they have other counties sure. that they're attempting to uh, go to events at, and it was one of their requests okay. that they would potentially just do two instead of the three. And uh, so we instituted, I think it was last year, to have a county update mm -hmm. because um, the mayor gets to do a, a state of the city address, gotcha. which we feel like is essential. And a mm -hmm. lot of my chamber colleagues asked, why do you not do a state of the county address? Mm -hmm. They said, well, because you're a county chamber, you as a chamber should be providing that as a benefit. And I, I, I had never thought about, thought about yeah. I didn't. It was a, um, a request or, excuse me, a suggestion at my uh, conference, mm -hmm. my professional conference last year. And I said, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those things that we did a research. We spoke to the county officials, Brian Lewis and others, and said, would that be something you'd be interested in mm -hmm. and, and doing for us and doing for the community? And they said, we don't even know what that looks like or what that means, but we are willing <laughs> to, you know, to have an opportunity to, That's great. to have that town hall. So last year was our first and okay. giving updates. And this year um, we took a break just because there was a lot going on and mm -hmm. they had already had a lot of public meetings. Mm -hmm. So we decided, well, while we're taking a break for a second from that, let's uh, do one other thing that had been a request to the chamber by multiple community members. Let's provide an opportunity for our federal legislators to come out mm -hmm. and do something similar so That's great. um who'd you get to attend um well jackie wolorski excellent she uh attended Second she was district uh congresswoman from mm -hmm. south bend elkhart area mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep so she attended um as far as the legislator, she was the only okay. official one to attend, but mm -hmm. um, Senator Donnelly sent mm -hmm. uh, Hodge Patel, yes. which he's hilarious. He's and senior staffer for, mm -hmm. for I guess he's a legend, Senator. that's what they yes. say. Um, and then uh, Senator Young had a new uh, community liaison, okay. Courtney Papa. Yeah. So she was not allowed to be part of the official program, okay. but she still was in attendance. Great. So uh, one thing I did learn is God bless the federal... <laughs> regulations and such there's a lot different um 
rigmarole that you have to go through really? related to putting together a federal update versus I didn't know, that. I didn't know it either. Okay, so we have rules. In <laughs> yeah, place. we have rules, things that you have to do and you can't do. Okay. Um, and that was probably the most difficult for me. Sure. But I have a good partner, Indiana Farm Bureau. Yeah. John Newsom's the director. He deals with those folks all the time. Great. So he was gracious enough to help me to maneuver through Fantastic. a lot of those rules, regulations, and figure out. For us, we want to provide the most authentic opportunity to sure. connect. And we have that on a state level. It's a bit harder on a federal level. Mm -hmm. um, there have been things that have happened in other chambers, Goshen, where there's been death threats to uh, our legislators mm. or just things that it have. We don't like that. We don't like that. So there's definite rules and regulations. So um, you got to keep them safe. You got to keep everybody protected and you don't want just you don't want it to be just an opportunity for one person to get on their soapbox and complain about their one subject mm -hmm. and, and monopolize all the time. Yeah, and we okay. don't want it to be an opportunity for the legislators n not to be able to connect with their folks. Absolutely. It, and that's difficult, believe me. I, It's hard. It, it yeah. still is hard. It's hard to wrap your brain around it. Sure. So, But we did the best we could. We, um, I have a great board who is yeah. um, willing to, to partner with me. Who's your with board me. president this year? Uh, Chris Wood Chris. from Mike Anderson. Very so, good. Very um, good. Stacy uh, Wilson was mine last year, uh -huh. so great people. Yeah. I feel so sorry for them because they're volunteers, they, <laughs> you know. But they both have stepped up to the challenge yeah. and have been such great resources for yeah. me. Yeah. I um, I would be nowhere without them and yeah. their support, the ability to um, be a sounding board to yeah. me because I don't make I do not make decisions mm -hmm. um, without providing the opportunity for someone else to hear what I have to say because sure. I feel like you need. To have that wise counsel. Yeah, you don't you don't live in a vacuum, and so I you gotta have that sounding board. And so to be able to ensure that every decision I make mm -hmm. is made from the most logical perspective mm -hmm. ever, um, with the the most well rounded decision possible. No one makes perfect decisions. Mm -hmm. I often will bounce ideas off of Great. either Stacy or whoever the current board president. Yeah, that's why they're there? Yeah, and believe me, if I have missed something, they'll let me know, and I'm grateful for that. Yeah, I'm grateful because um, then it's a team effort. So yeah. uh, well, we want to give kudos just for a second to all the folks out there, not mm -hmm. only the chamber board, uh, but any board that you're on that you're volunteering for, just know that we appreciate the effort you're putting out there to help mm -hmm. your community and help your uh, your county to be the best it can be. So it's hard kudos work. to the board. Oh, board, oh, it's, board work is hard. Yeah, I just <laughs> talked to Rachel Arndt uh, oh, down at Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, great. and and Rachel is great. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness she's young, and thank goodness she's got a lot of energy <laughs> because she is volunteering 20 to 40 hours mm -hmm. every month, if not more. That's probably mm -hmm. a lean guess, mm -hmm. but uh, we have a lot of folks like that that mm -hmm. that have full time jobs and lives and families and the whole thing. And they're spending a lot of their quote unquote free time volunteering. So thank you all for yeah. doing it's that. It's our secret heroes. I feel like they're our secret they are heroes. They are our secret heroes. <laughs> so you, um, you have to be in those meetings. You're paid to be there. Yes, I am. But you're uh, doing such a great job, Amy. You've come and, and you've kind of, uh, you know, you and I were talking a little bit before. You've brought some clarity out of the chaos mm -hmm. in a lot of the things. The chamber uh, director wears a ton of hats. Mm -hmm. Um, probably as many as I do here between <laughs> script writing and editing yeah. and filming and being the talent on screen. We mm -hmm. have to do it all and, and uh, so kudos to you for your efforts. We've seen a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. Some were hard decisions to make but um, you know they needed to be made mm -hmm. and we've progressed from there on many many things but the legislative breakfast um, come kind of full circle back to that very very well attended here in Fulton County. Very well attended and we actually even had a uh now, last year he snuck in. I did not know him, but Jeff Brantley, who is from okay. the state chamber, and he snuck in because he had heard some rumblings down at um, Indianapolis about how great the attendance at really? Fulton County Legislative Breakfast <laughs> were. I was like, oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Um, so he actually snuck in, and then um, he just he attended it. And yeah. then at the end of it, he walked up and he said, hey, I'm Jeff Brantley. <laughs> I'm from the state chamber. And I had heard how great these are. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to oh, attend kudos. and see for myself. He said, thank you for what you provide for um, for your community. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I mean, it's all the great partners we have. But um, he and I have stayed connected. And um, he is, I mean, it's just, it's such a testimony to the hard work of these folks. When sure. someone all the way down in Indianapolis um, Drives to Rochester, Indiana, I know, right? I know. But that's the thing is that we need folks down there to understand that um, we're not on an island, no. and we do need we do need resources, we do Absolutely. need connections, we do need people to understand yeah. who we are and what we need, and yeah. we need them to make decisions that are supportive of 
metropolitan areas yeah. as much as yeah. in rural areas. I deal so. with the IHSAA quite a bit mm -hmm. um, because the High School Athletic Association, because of all the filming that we do, we film as many postseason events of the IHSAAs as anybody in the state of Indiana uh, because we cover so much ground in so many schools. And this isn't about me, but the point is, is that I have to remind the IHSA from time to time <laughs> that there is more to the state of Indiana than just Indianapolis and Marion County. Mm -hmm. And they forget that sometimes. <laughs> and it's hard. And you know, the beautiful part about it is so like, if you are one of 50 states and Indianapolis yeah. brings people to Indiana, mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. But Indianapolis can't hold all those people. That's right. We're, there's 92 counties. That's right. So if Indianapolis or Marion can get them to Indiana, yeah. then maybe one of the 90, 92 counties can right. get them to one of Absolutely. the 92 counties. Because Absolutely. that's that's the, I think the challenge, the unique challenge is how do we build population? Yeah because that's how you grow a state. Sure. That's how you grow a county, is sure. by building population. Yeah. And so if Indianapolis provides us that, the opportunity, you know, have at it, but yeah. I might not, I might, I can't say I'm not gonna try to fight to get them to Polk <laughs> County. <laughs> we might shuttle <laughs> them up here. We'll do that. Because I believe that we are, you know, the best thing since sliced bread. We have a yeah. lot of great things to offer. We do have so. tons to offer. And yeah. you're shining a, a brighter spotlight on that than ever before. You've also, kind of uh, splintered out some of your groups so that they can do what they need to do. Mm -hmm. um, you sat on this couch. We had a long conversation oh, yeah. with the folks from the Rochester Downtown Partnership. They're running with that. Mm -hmm. They're doing great. Mm -hmm. Talked about Bettina and the uh, tourism. They're running with that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. So by, mm -hmm. by giving it more focus, mm -hmm. um, I think that you've done just a heck of a job in kind of parsing out what needed to be done. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have to identify. Yes. Oh, that's the <laughs> that's the first step is identifying the problem, right? <laughs> so you got to yeah. go through all that, and mm -hmm. that takes months and months mm -hmm. and months, and you get through all that, and then you start to implement your plan or create your plan. Mm -hmm. Then you begin to implement your plan, and before you know it, it's three years. And, and you think, where in the world did the time what go? What have I done? I have yet to accomplish. Or, mm -hmm. But you really have accomplished mm -hmm. a lot, and I'm proud of you for that. Well, thank you. The legislative part is just yeah. one. Now, we held those at different places. They weren't all right here in Rochester. We do. And that was one of the things that I felt was very essential when I first started is a lot of, um, I did a lot of listening. I do a lot of talking. <laughs> you know, and I get in trouble for that sometimes, but I, I did a lot of listening as well and understanding that there were a lot of folks in the county who felt that they were not getting an equal ear. Okay. Weren't and being represented. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I and my board felt that that was very important to take sure. notice of. Sure. And one of the ways that we knew we had control over that was to ensure that those events would be held in the different locations. Great. Now we can't guarantee that people would attend that, sure. but we can be in charge of ensuring that we mm -hmm. uh, look, put those specific events in the locations mm -hmm. that are other than Rochester. Mm -hmm. um, the municipality is necessary mm -hmm. and important, but we also need to make sure as a county chamber sure. that we support all of the other towns. Sure, we've got Kiwana and Leiters Ford and Talma and Fulton and mm -hmm. Uh, Akron. Akron. Yep. Akron. Mm -hmm. I, I, Akron's bigger than that in my mind, but yeah. Akron. Um, mm -hmm. Athens, really. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, there's a lot. And that's the big change that came a few years ago when you guys took it went, away from the yep. Rochester mm -hmm. and they went to the Fulton County Chamber of mm -hmm. Commerce, which I would say is a trend that we are at the, not the absolute forefront on, but we're definitely one of the early adopters of. And you're seeing more and more mm -hmm. start to adopt that exact, that exact same philosophy. Mm -hmm. Well, because it's necessary. Right. It's almost out of efficiency's sake. Yes. There's only a limited amount of resources. Mm -hmm. So often you will see a county chamber. Yeah. But the other thing that I was just speaking to uh, one of my colleagues about on the phone earlier, he called just to check up from ICA, okay. Indiana Chamber Executive Association. He's the new president, so he wants to call everybody. He's, <laughs> he's great. Uh, make sure we're all doing good. Uh, but the other thing that we are seeing is the understanding and he was speaking about this, of each of the organizations based on economic development, mm -hmm. the essential um, value of having those stand alone but work together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's always hard. It's always been, that's why we had this conversation yep. with the Rochester Downtown yep. Partnership, because each of those unique tools, and that's what I call it, the RDP is a tool, the mm -hmm. Chamber's a tool, mm -hmm. Fedco's a tool, Tourism's a tool, you know, yep. uh, Redevelopment Commission, all of those are separate organizations mm -hmm. with different niche markets. Mm -hmm. 
different goals, but they should all be working in collaboration together. Yes. Under one strategic plan. Yes. And that's the best way. That's what. Um, it's hard, though, isn't it? Oh. Oh my gosh, that's, uh, you know, consensus. Just to speak candidly, it is <laughs> it's a tiger team. It's yeah. groups from various organizations all trying to come together mm -hmm. for really the same main purpose. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, the devil's in the details Oh, sometimes. and that's been probably the hardest thing, you know, uh, coming in and understanding that need and, and really mm -hmm. having that as my marching order from mm -hmm. my board to build capacity and to build relationship and yeah. synergy. And so looking at the Rochester Downtown Partnership as the first organization to launch, and believe sure. me, I it's hard to launch an organization. Sure. It's hard Absolutely. to let go. It's hard to, you know, to to to, you know, let go of the the reins, but at the same time it's essential. Absolutely. Because now I look at the work that is being done and I am so blessed mm -hmm. because it was our hard work that set yes. it up. It team that just put that together and launched it and now I look at uh, the fruits of our labor, mm -hmm. um, the tears that were shed, all of the hard work, yeah. the pounds that were gained. Right. It's all yeah, worth it's it. All worth it's it. all worth it, you know, and now with um, the tourism, so mm -hmm. that is my goal. Um, actually Bettina is the promotions committee for Rochester Downtown Thank Partnership. Thank you. Um, but with the tourism, that was my second move as I'm also building the chamber. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, knock on wood, <laughs> all goes well. We will be able to launch that by the end of this year. Fantastic. And we have a good team there as well. And I've um, been really blessed by some of the things that we've been able to accomplish. That's been a harder, yeah. um, a harder uh, task, but we've made some great strides yes. and uh, I think by the end of the year and then we can and then this position can focus solely on what it should do mm -hmm. which is uh, the chamber mm -hmm. because believe me there's enough work that can be done with a county chamber right. to build capacity you couldn't do it all um, a lot was on you know handed to you when you mm -hmm. came on board nor could you have ever been just the saving grace that sprinkles some magic fairy dust and suddenly there's a new factory here and higher paying jobs here and a better tax base here. It doesn't work like that. And everybody in this day and age wants instant gratification. <laughs> it's like McDonald's. Like, yeah. you know, you go and you go to McDonald's. I think yeah. that's the hardest thing. And I think it is hard. And I think that people feel they can see the writing on the wall. Yeah. And so maybe it gives them a bit more desperation. Yeah. Um, and so they may be a, a little less patient about sure. how long it takes. But um, we have some absolute amazing teammates. Yeah, that's right. It's I the feel people. It's the, I, people the people of Fulton County that make this happen. Oh my God. The people who walk into my mm -hmm. office who maybe have seen one of these videos that sure. you do or the WRI or the uh, Sentinel Chamber sure. newsletter or a you know, story in the shopping guide or, or Facebook, Facebook or wherever. whatever they've mm -hmm. seen that it has for some reason inspired and ignited something in them sure. that they've walked through that chamber door and they say, how can I help? Yeah. Oh, those are my favorite moments. Even yeah. when someone says, I'm <laughs> mad at you and I need you to explain yourself. Those are my favorite moments sure. as well because that's an opportunity to hear a concern absolutely to turn a frown upside down absolutely and to encourage somebody if you feel so passionate about that why don't you join a board mm -hmm. why don't you join a committee yep. you know i can't i wish that i was superwoman i wish i was god of the universe believe me <laughs> <laughs> i wish i was some pace i think i am you sometimes that magic i wish i was but i'm not right. we are only as good as the partners that come alongside us right and we, the, it's wonderful. The, yes, and we are blessed with some great people. And the thing that, that we have to have or try to have is perspective. We are one small city, mm -hmm. one small county mm -hmm. in rural Indiana, mm -hmm. in the Midwest, in the United States. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. this is not an uncommon problem. Oh, no. But how to attack the problem mm -hmm. of factories closing mm -hmm. and schools um with less money and tax bases going down. Well, others have done it. Mm -hmm. We've learned from some of them, but we're also coming up with our own ideas. And that's the beauty of it. That's why it was one of the conversations when Jeff stopped by. So he stopped Jeff Brantley, the gentleman mm -hmm. from the Indiana State Chamber. He was, I think it was January, he, January, February. He stopped in and we were speaking about um, that very thing. And one of the things, he just looked at me, he goes like this and I was like, you know what the, your wheels are turning what's going on in right. there he goes i have never thought about this but i wonder if it would be helpful if the state chamber put together a case study of the small communities who have been successful and mm -hmm. what were those mm -hmm. those specific sure. steps that they took that got them to success yeah. he said just listening to you in the struggles 
he said, I sit in Indianapolis all day and I don't half the time understand what you deal with. But just coming here and hearing that, he said, I wonder if that's a tool that the state chamber or whoever could provide as a benefit to these small communities because there are success stories there. there are. I always say economic development is that not that hard, but it is that hard. Mm -hmm. It's There are proven things Absolutely. that work, but there are also unique niche parts to your mm -hmm. community uh, that are uniquely challenging Absolutely. that you have to overcome. So that's where it comes to the hard part. But then there's also tools. Yeah. And so being able to see what these other folks have done and how they've overcome the obstacles, mm -hmm. um, that would be really essential. So that's great. Know, he was on something. De there. He definitely. <laughs> on definitely. to something. I think um, I've been privileged because I've, I've had the opportunity to film most of the community events happening mm -hmm. over the past five, six, seven years. But um, I look at things like the Manitou Monster Triathlon. Mm -hmm. I look at the soul of the people who put that together. I look at the folks who took the torch of the Round mm -hmm. Barn and, and did the um, Living Local mm -hmm. Festival, the, the small community festival downtown here. As I told them that first year, it's got to grow, mm -hmm. but you have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. As I said to the Rochester Downtown Partnership and, and everyone in that group, there's an energy now. Mm -hmm. There's a buzz. I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm out there and about and I'm filming all these things and there's a certain buzz happening here that I like to see. Mm -hmm. um, there's a certain amount, you know, we are the city of friendship and pride. Mm -hmm. um, I know, I knew Bill Schroer when, uh, when he was a teacher at Rochester High School and he and I had some conversation about that. He was one of the individuals who was inspired to come up with that slogan for the city. And he and I laughed one day. I said, sometimes you can be too proud, can't you? He goes, sometimes you can. <laughs> Amen, brother. We can't rest on our laurels of who we've been. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as I love to hearken back to the days when the big bands were coming to the mm -hmm. Colonial, those days are gone. What are we now? What are we going to be tomorrow? Um, going to be, you can tell I'm from Indiana. <laughs> um, but what do we want that to be? And what's it going to take to get there? And you are one of those principal people who have put that come into this town back from touring your world, if you will, and <laughs> South Carolina, I think, was the last <laughs> yes, place. Mm -hmm. But you come back here, and you've got some fresh eyes and some fresh perspective, and you just give it your heart and soul, Amy, mm -hmm. and that's just so impressive. Well, and it's hard. Change is hard. That That is, um, you know, one of the, I think, hard lessons I've had to learn, and one of the things that I feel that was a professional development for me was I am a get it done kind of girl. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm get it done yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the, the hard lessons and one of the mistakes that I made when I first took this position is I had to relearn the place I call home. Mm -hmm. And I had to relearn the new tribe. Sure. And because I move at Mach 1000, mm -hmm. 10,000 sometimes, mm -hmm. That was disconcerting to some folks. Mm -hmm. And I did some disservice to sure. some folks. And I, you know, that was difficult for me. Sure. And, I, and, I, and I hate that, but we all have moments. But the one thing I think that like, and I'm so cheesy and uh, Wes at the set always makes fun of me because <laughs> I come up with these little things, but language is so important. I really, sure. I really feel that language is what moves mountains. Mm -hmm. And so, and I'm about, you know, really speaking to myself to, to understand what it is. And so I was sitting there curling my hair. That's the only time I stopped moving and I'm not really <laughs> even stopping moving, but that's my best thinking time is at gotcha. six or 7 a.m. Sure, when I'm curling it. my hair mm -hmm. and thoughts start, you know, settling. And I came up with something that just, you know, this is my mantra, you know, I want to honor tradition while pursuing progress. Mm. And I taught myself that. I like that. What does it mean to honor tradition? Mm -hmm. Because we are very steeped in tradition, mm -hmm. some really neat traditions. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you let tradition keep you mired, mm -hmm. then progress will never happen. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go back because an indecision is still a decision. Right. Decay still happens. Yep. You know, but I had to teach myself, what does it look like to understand or to relearn your community mm -hmm. after having been gone for eight to 10 years sure. and understand the traditions that are so important yeah. to the community so that I don't do or say or make a decision sure. of something that's unnecessary, but also that we don't let tradition stranglehold progress. Right. Because then we will not be the best one. Right. you got to find a happy one. medium, right? And uh, believe me, that's, a har that's hard. Yeah. I mean, there's no perfect yeah. science. There's no perfect mm -hmm. art. There's nothing. And that's why yeah. I'm grateful to be surrounded by some really cool people <laughs> who help me to make sure that we're making the yeah. right decision. Because sure. we don't want to make, if we have to make a hard decision 
we want to make sure that that hard decision is 100% absolutely mm -hmm. necessary to be made. That, that if it has to be made, that we did not make uh, a decision that um, would cause ill will without having an absolute benefit to it. Right. So, and that's that, that, that mantra that I taught myself <laughs> as I was sitting there curling my hair. It's honoring tradition mm -hmm. while pursuing progress. Because believe me, there are a heck of a lot of people before myself yeah. who have made this community and this county what it is. Mm -hmm. And they have sacrificed hours of their life sure. to set things up and it is my job to understand what they've done and the hard work and to respect and to honor that mm -hmm. as best as we can mm -hmm. and to ensure that um, that they know that that is what we're attempting to do while we're looking at what the new methods are and, right. and the new um, trends are and so that balance oh believe me it's it's <laughs> an impossible needle it is to impossible there will be no perfect moments but you, you know. and i were talking off camera beforehand and the personality profiles tell me that i'm the guy who wants to please everybody all the time and <laughs> and how difficult it truly is and mm -hmm. an, an impossible task to do that but you're in a position that that's basically when you when you sat down in your interview they should have said your job is to try and please all the people all the time good luck <laughs> Let Have us, fun with that yeah, one. <laughs> good luck with that. Someone's going to be mad at you every day of every, you know. Yeah, of, and that's going to happen. Um, you know, movers and shakers are going to move and shake the wrong way sometimes. Movers and shakers are going to have some collateral damage in their wake. They just mm -hmm. will. Uh, but it does take, you know, I like your energy, Amy. I've liked it from day one when we first met. I think that your heart is pure and I think your, your um, motives are pure. But some of them are hard decisions to make. Oh, I, I also hope people complain about why we don't have the Round Barn I Festival. Know. Well, goodness, <laughs> there were reasons why yeah. we don't have the Round Barn Festival. If everybody in town, if it was the boon that we had envisioned that it was, it wouldn't have gone away. Mm -hmm. But you got to weigh every aspect of it from how do the shopkeepers downtown mm -hmm. feel to how do the people coming into town, how do the vendors mm -hmm. feel? How is it all working out for the community? Mm -hmm. And you have to make some tough decisions. And, and that was a hard one. And honestly, I think that was, um, at first that was frustrating to me sure. to hear that. Cause I, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't part of that decision. So right. I didn't really know. But as I understood the reasons, it made logical sense to yeah. me. So I was a able to speak more um, uh, adequately to that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that, cause I'm, I like to, I like win-wins. Mm -hmm. I like yeses more than I like noes. And right. so one of the really neat opportunities that I feel like is kind of a fun a thing is that I know that the Round Barn, that is something that gave people those fond memories. Mm -hmm. And believe me, it is hard to grieve those sure. memories. It really is. I feel that way. I was Round Barn. Yeah, I did the Round Barn the Queen Festival, yeah. you know, those you know, contests, and I did yes. all this I stuff. Didn't do the, I didn't do the Queen Festival. <laughs> I would have loved I to didn't. see you do that. Uh, no, no. I, I would have. And, and it was hard. It's hard to grieve when things change. Yeah. And you want to honor that tradition, yeah. like we spoke about. Yeah. So um, my former uh, assistant, Kelly Whiteman Snipes, uh -huh. yeah. she came up with this harebrained idea of, um, because we needed to have a receptionist desk. Uh -huh. And we need something for more privacy because we have a lot of people's private information and we needed something. So she came up with this harebrained idea about having a round barn. Uh -huh. And I was like, no way. We can't do that. How are we going to do that? And so, um, you know, she moved on and she's having a successful career. But um, while we were speaking about it, sh she had partnered with Brian Lewis and Brian Lewis had put this CAD drawing together. Oh, no kidding. Of this idea. Well, as we got the Chamber Master software and other things that we've gotten, which mm -hmm. provides a lot more private information that's mm -hmm. necessary, it became even more essential for us to move forward with this idea. So I had spoken to the board last year and said, I think that we need to take out this, the, dust this little CAD drawing off. Uh -huh. And I think we need to consider doing a capital investment in, you know, in the front office to provide a desk to protect people's private information, um, but also to do something kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So we put a bit out there trying to figure out who in the heck would be willing to take the current desk and create a round barn around it and make a receptionist desk. Well, most people said, heck no, I'm not going right. to do it. Well, I mean, that's like one of the specialized desks. So um, two new guys that had worked at Rochester Homes before were the only ones that said they were willing to do it. So they went about the task and create. Have you seen it? I have not. Oh, my God, Scott. you got to go check it out. We'll get you some video of that. Yeah. So you'll have to check it out because well, it's that it's 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 our 
almost like a memorial. Uh, yeah. Because we're right. not saying we didn't love that time right. in life. We're not saying that it was a bad right. time in life. We're not saying that it wasn't an honorable time in life. I feel like that desk is our opportunity. Like you put mm -hmm. flowers on someone's grave. Mm -hmm. It's our opportunity to say we loved it too. Yeah. So because we loved it so much, walk into the chamber and see a round barn. Right. And a That's girl behind neat. a desk. <laughs> That's a nice homage to. Yeah. To the round now barn. it's not red, mm -hmm. which people do say I need mm -hmm. to make it red, but I'm like, you can't make it. It doesn't, yeah, you know, go with, with the it. Desk and, yeah, the yeah, decor. Yeah. Um, but it's a really neat opportunity, that is neat. and I it didn't sets know that. us apart. Anybody who walks in there just has something to say about yeah. it. And that's the thing is that that is what we've been known for. Uh, yes. That's our history. But, but again, I love, I love, what's your phrase again? Tell them. Honor tradition while pursuing progress. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And that's, you know, it takes time. Anything takes time. I've been with RTC. I shot my first video for them in 2008. That's 10 years. Now, where I thought we would be in 10 mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. versus where we are in 10 years is nowhere near mm -hmm. the same. But in some respects, we've surpassed what we thought we could do. Um, I'm running live crews for live cable channels. Um, and I'm not bragging during your session here. It's just to say, sometimes you look back and you're surprised at what you have accomplished. And sometimes it's not what you thought you were aiming for, but it's even better. And you so. should brag because we have some essential things to be proud of. I think that's the one thing I'm trying to teach people uh, with the nominations for these business awards and such. Yeah. It's not, you're not bragging. You yeah. are proud of the footprint that you have provided for the community. Yeah. You're proud of what the folks at RTC, Joe McCarter and his Absolutely. team of people before him. Absolutely. I find, I think there is nothing wrong with it's being proud of it. It's not bragging if you're right. No. I mean, <laughs> I, if you're going out there like, you know, being ugly about it, that's no, no. different. But if you are just stating facts, we have done some really neat things. It's a and great we community. have some great assets that we, we and really you do. know what? If we don't tell our story, no one else will. That's right. And we need to tell our story because there are 91 other counties who, if they tell their story better than us, we might lose out. Yeah, that's that's something I want to talk about. And I know I've kept you longer than any of the shows I've ever filmed over at oh, WROI, okay. but I may not get you on the couch again, so yeah. we'll have these conversations. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that, that folks out there need to realize, and I, you are acutely aware of this, the mayor is acutely aware of this, uh, Terry and mm -hmm. his board over at Fedco mm -hmm. are acutely aware of this. Mm -hmm. We're not, uh, we may be part of some region, north central Indiana, but you better believe we are competing with Warsaw and mm -hmm. Plymouth and Logansport, Peru, Wabash, Huntington, Manchester, mm -hmm. Fort Wayne, mm -hmm. for every factory, every mm -hmm. job, every everything that is potentially coming this way, we're competing against the big boys. Yeah, and it doesn't behoove us to be ugly in competition. No. I do not believe that. No. There are times when regionalism is excellent. Yeah, absolutely. But there are also times when it, when it comes down to it, you do have to tell your story, and you have to tell your story yeah. better than someone else. Okay. I think it's a fine balance between being a good partner to your neighbors, yeah. but also knowing when it's your job at that specific situation. Right to win that award. Yeah. And that award might be a manufacturing facility or that right. award might be a small business. That's right. It's a balance, it's a balance yeah. because you don't want to be so ugly that none of your neighbors want to talk to you. I wrote, <laughs> I, I wrote a letter to you Amazon know? asking them if they would come to- Hey, why they, not? They were gonna open up their second facility why in not? the US. I said, Rochester, Indiana is perfect. And that's what I think people, they, people, half of the accomplishment, accomplishments that we've had is because I don't assume that people are gonna say no. Right. My board doesn't assume people are gonna say no. Why not throw it out there, see if it sticks? That's right. And if we can gain favor from someone yep. just because we asked, yep. why not? Why not? And if they say Cost no, you nothing. If, if they say no, they say no. <laughs> they say no. And if they say no the 20 times I ask them, <laughs> maybe the 21st time they'll say yes. I don't know. As a salesman, I'll tell you that if I if I was that susceptible to no's, that oh. I would get nowhere. But, well, uh, I had Gary Rowe for a dad, so he was a salesperson, <laughs> and he taught me that you just don't take no for an answer. You just don't Now, do there's a respect point where you're just like, yes, sir, I'm done, or yes, ma'am, I'm done. But when it comes to it, if you don't fight mm -hmm. for yourself, yep. no one else will. That's exactly right. And you have to overcome objections, and you figure out what is that objection that I can overcome so I can win whatever it is that we need to win yeah. so that we can provide the best community for for want. the kids that are growing up, the generations, the families that call Fulton County home. You we know? If I had one wish and one goal, it would be by the time I depart this earth is that Fulton County and Rochester, Indiana, the kids mm. no longer qualify for free and reduced lunch. Amen, brother. I've been, that has been my barometer. I know we're in the 60% uh, range mm. now. I want that number of zero. Oh. 
Amen. I, I want it. We don't qualify. Amen. We are too good of a community. Um, and, and we are. We are. And it's just, it's not showing that in the numbers per se, but uh, we are. And we are something to be proud of, something mm -hmm. to be holding. Mm -hmm. And uh, this lady right here is helping to, mm -hmm. to uh, fight for us. And you're telling our story when others won't. So uh, well, I can't thank you enough. I know our viewers are very thankful. Well, it's one day at a time, sweet Jesus. And, <laughs> and, it, and it really does take a lot of teamwork. It and does. I'll, I'll, It takes a lot of... Choosing to not be easily offended, right. choosing to allow differences to um, be what they are, and um, and just working hard. I mean, all of every this, every time a kid drives by, it's it's another reason why. It's Absolutely. another reason why. It, you know, get up, put the heels back on, and even if I don't feel like fighting that battle that day, you gotta get up. And gotta fight. get up and keep going. So, yeah. but I got a vacation coming, so all I get right. to just shake it off for a second, go and be well, uh, get some sunny south, and come back and you, you have know. earned it. You have earned it. Well, again, uh, Amy, if folks want to help out, help the chamber, you know, uh, where do they go? What's the website? Let's tell them um, that. FultonCountyChamber.com, and it has it's a that new easy. Yes. FultonCountyChamber.com. No, FultonCountyChamber.com does not take you to Atlanta, Georgia, Fulton County. It takes you to <laughs> Indiana, right here, Fulton County yep. Chamber. And it has a new facelift. The board also approved for a new facelift. So okay, website's got a new look. It's easier Excellent. and more accessible to um, help folks to uh, maneuver Let, through it. Let's so. tell them where you're located for yep. those that are. 822 Main Street. Right downtown uh, Rochester. 574 224 2666. Uh, Excellent. Um, they can chamber at rtcol.com. They can stop by, and I make time to listen to people mm -hmm. and to understand and they may need connect. an appointment though because she's a busy woman but yeah feel free to call and they'll get yes, you squared and away we'll make right? it work okay. i you know i'm not too busy to sit down with whoever wants to sit down we may okay. have to maneuver things through but we make it happen yeah. so we're blessed to be able to understand the need and, and to move things forward so it's a pleasure to have you here thanks for coming into the studio amy rowe mm -hmm. director executive director executive director fulton county chamber of commerce doing great things for you and me so thanks for being here and thanks for watching thanks for having me